Hey guys, and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea, and I hope I find you all very well indeed. Right guys, so it's that time of the month again, where we review the products received in our Degusta Box subscription this month. Remember guys, if you want to save yourself some money and you want to give the box a go, feel free to use my wee code shown on the screen just now. You'll get your first box for £7.99 instead of the usual £12.99, and that includes all your shipping and handling, so it's actually quite a good deal. Deal. And also guys, I've created another wee poll which I'd quite like your input on. So if you, again, if you click the wee eye symbol on your right hand corner, you'll be able to vote there. I've had quite a lot of people asking to see a gravy recipe and also how for more slow cooker recipes and asking how to make roast beef, that kind of thing. So I thought I'd combine them all into one video and show you guys how I make a roast beef dinner from start to finish, including all the veggies, gravy, roast potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, the whole shooting match. So that would be option one guys. Option two is going to be more or less the same video but it'll be with oven roasted chicken instead of roast beef. So that would be option two guys. And number three. Now I've come across this YouTuber called Catherine's Plate a couple of weeks ago and subscribed. I think she's absolutely fab. She's in the USA and she does recipes, grocery hauls, that type of things. Like I say guys, I only subscribed myself a couple of weeks ago, but be sure to check her out, you know, if you if you like that style of video. And her video was for chicken and broccoli stuffed pasta shells with a lovely creamy Alfredo sauce and I thought it looked absolutely amazing. So I did say to her, you know, I'm going to be giving it a go. So yeah guys, so that'll be option three. So mind and let me know what you think. So enough rambling and let's go on with what I thought of this month's contents. The first thing we got guys, we actually get two bags of these crisps from uh, the London Crisp Company, or sorry, London Flavours. Now, I absolutely love salt and vinegar crisps and I think it's probably my favourite flavour. And these were fab. They were just very salty, guys. Second thing we got was this iced coffee from Percol and I put this in the fridge and chilled it and it was absolutely delicious, amazingly creamy. So yeah, I'd definitely pick that up again. The next thing, guys, was this Capsicana Spice Mix. I used this yesterday, actually, in some beef wraps. I just put it in with some frying steak, and this was absolutely delicious as well, and brilliant value. Next thing, guys, was this can of cider. My other half tried this, and he said it was okay, but he's tried better ciders. We got a, a cider a couple of months ago in a glass bottle. I forget the name now, but you could go back and check that, and he said that cider, and I agree, was the best cider we'd ever tried. I must have a look back and see what that was, because it was lovely. The next thing, guys, was the second bag of crisps from the London Flavours, and this was the cheese version. I actually preferred these ones to the salt and vinegar ones because they didn't seem as salty. Now like I say, salt and vinegar is my favourite flavour but for some reason, maybe it was just my bag, I don't know, but they were, I mean you could actually see the salt clinging to the bag inside. So out of the two flavours, I prefer these cheese ones. The next thing guys were these peckish cheese crackers. Now these were fabulous, lovely and light, perfect if you're on a diet or even if you're not, they were just so tasty and the fact they're low in calories make them all the better. Again guys, some more seasoning from Capsicana. I haven't actually got round to trying this one but I'm sure it's going to be fab. Sorry, this is the guacamole mix. I'm sure it's going to be fab um, because everything I've received from this company I have really liked and they're really good value as well, guys. The next thing, guys, was this uh, Pulsin Raw Chocolate Brownie. Now, when I initially seen this, I thought, mm, not really sure at all, uh, but I tried it and it was delicious. It was, really, it was quite heavy, packed with nuts and it's very, very rich. So it's nice just to chop up into wee bits and just have it as a wee treat now and again. And it was absolutely divine. The next thing, guys, were these Ribena carbonated drinks. Now, this was the only thing so far that I found disappointing because they're quite expensive at £2.70 a bottle. You know, for what it is, you know, it's essentially fizzy cordial and they've made it look a bit fancier in the bottles, but, you know, it just really wasn't very nice. I prefer Ribena original the way it's meant to be without the carbonation. So, no, I definitely wouldn't get this again. Another surprise, guys, was this miso soup. And it's basically a fancy cup of soup. I've never tried miso soup before, so I don't know how this compares to other styles of miso soup, but I found this very, very tasty as well. Again, low in calories, so that's fabulous, and I would definitely pick this up again if I seen it. 
And the next thing guys was good old salad cream. Now I have used this a few times but I've had this before and I knew I was going to like it because it is something we have in the cupboard all the time. It goes with everything, you know, you put it in your salads, you know, you can dip your chips in it, put it in wraps, you know, you can't go wrong with salad cream. The next thing guys was these Cadbury's highlights and it's just basically a low, you know, a low calorie chocolate drink and it was fab as well. Next thing guys was our fruit pastels, 30% less sugar and I didn't find them any different to the ones, you know, the full sugar version so these are fab as well guys. And the fact they're lower in sugar, I'd probably pick these up over the original ones because I couldn't tell the difference if I'm being honest. So that was our box guys. So very, very impressed with this month's box. The only thing I was disappointed in were the Ribena drinks. At £2.70, I, th I thought that was ludicrous for what it is. And the original Ribena, the still version, is, you know, far superior, in my opinion. Don't mess with the originals, guys. Leave them the way they are. <laughs> they're, they're, you know, they're classics for a reason, so don't muck about with them. So that was it guys, so thank you very much again for popping over and seeing what's going on and uh, like I said before, make sure you get involved in my wee poll so it'd be a roast beef dinner, a roast chicken dinner or Catherine's Plate fantastic stuffed pasta shells. So until next time guys, take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. Bye for now, bye now. <laughs>